Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid inspired by how I met your mother. I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Polish Astronomer. Got my tongue stuck to a door at a restaurant. But what do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where Trixie16 posted this. If social media was around in your childhood, what embarrassing moment would you be famous for? I shit myself as a six year old girl at the mall. I farted in the shoe store and my sister thought it was absolutely hilarious. Again, she exclaimed as I forced a follow up fart out. In complete hysterics now, again, she cackled another fart. She was laughing so hard she was nearly in tears. Again! Although I no longer had any gas, I pushed as hard as I could, determined to make my sister laugh even harder. Then, a moment too late, I noticed I was shitting myself. I can only imagine my sister would have been filming on her iPhone had they been available in the 90s. Pooping on the floor between arcade games at age 7 so I wouldn't lose my place in line to play Gauntlet. I lost my place in line. Ugh. Extreme Camel Toe, doing a Barbie Girl number at the talent show. In fifth grade, I was in a school musical production where in one song I was the Boogie Woogie Reindeer and during the song I was supposed to dance. Well, my mom had just showed me the movie Coyote Ugly, so I thought the best course of action was to dance like the girls in that movie. I'm sure there's still a home video out there of the fifth grade boy dancing like a stripper. <laughs> Not embarrassing, but I ruined a magic show once. The magician said he needed a good kid to help him. I declared myself a good kid and walked on stage. I then proceeded to ruin the trick by pointing out the ball he made disappear was behind a table. He then sent me away. Putting toilet paper in my butt like a horse tail and running around the house naked with cups as hooves. I'm sure there's a picture, but I have no access to that. I, 14 male at the time, was at my sister's hockey banquet. 300 girls, babes, in attendance. As the speaker approached the podium, Don Cherry for you hockey fans, I was leaning back on my chair. Indeed, I leaned too far. I began to fall back on the chair and grab the tablecloth to hang on to. I ended up pulling the entire KFC food party banquet food onto my head and lap, gravy included. My elbows also hit the piano keys behind me, making a massive B flat note throughout the gymnasium. When Mr Cherry got to the microphone, he said, Thank you, maestro. I died a little that day. I had a stomach bug once in middle school and the fucking nurse didn't believe me. I may have cried wolf before. I suffered through school all day until finally my last period. We were taking a test and I asked my teacher if I could go to the bathroom. And before I could finish speaking, a projectile vomited over her shoulder and mostly into the trash can. The jock in the class was like, Whoa, your throat looks like spray. And even in my stupor, I was like, what the fuck? My teacher made the horse girl walk me to the nurse with a soiled trash bin and horse girl was actually super cool about it. Told me not to be embarrassed and took my mind off of it by talking about horses. There's always a horse girl around when you need her. Farting in my dad's face after asking him to check out a lump on my butt. That's not embarrassing, that's hilarious! I was around eight or so on my first time seeing a men's urinal inside a McDonald's restroom. I thought to myself, what a weird sink, and proceeded to wash my hands on it, literally smearing my hands on the surface of the urinal where the water flows. Got back to our table and told my mom about it. I didn't know it was possible for someone to gasp, laugh, cry, and be embarrassed at the same time. I'm pretty sure people from surrounding tables overheard it. Social media wasn't really used back then. Facebook's still on its early stages. Was in a shopping mall when I heard someone say my name. At least, it sounded like my name. I looked up from my phone to see this pretty girl walking towards me with outstretched arms and a smile. She looked so familiar, like someone I knew from my high school. So of course, my dumb nearsighted self, who didn't want to second guess his good fortune, opened his arms. 
opened his arms wide to receive and reciprocate the hug. She sidestepped around me neatly like a ballerina ninja and delivered the hug to its rightful owner, who was right behind me in my blind spot, leaving me fumbling to play off the most embarrassing moment of my life. After hightailing it out of there with my dignity in shreds, I met up with a few friends and I was able to put the entire debacle behind me. That is, until I ran into Ballerina Ninja and the Hug Thief once again, who, by a supreme fuck you by the universe, had been joined by a couple of their friends. I glanced in their direction and saw her nudge her friends and whisper something while pointing in my direction. Then they laughed. I still cringe when I think about this. My friend and I thought it would be fun to recreate Jackass and title it Jackbutt. We were like 11 or 12. Instead of doing anything actually dangerous, we would take the trucks or wheels off our skateboard and do stupid tricks on a trampoline and then make a hand signal and yell, Jackbutt! at the camera. I'm glad the recording on the VHS was lost to the world. Oh my gosh, most embarrassing moment of my life by far. I was in middle school about 10 years ago and basically at the most vulnerable age of my life while everyone was trying so hard to be cool and accepted. My mom had a lot of older sayings that I would hear a lot and rubbed off on me. One of those things was being fingered when someone would flip her off. She was fond of saying this in traffic whenever she'd cut anyone off. I didn't know it meant anything other than giving the one finger salute. So I was walking in a very crowded hallway after lunch and trying to be a cool girl and whatever when the most popular guy a grade above me bumped into me while running to his locker. I yelled at him to watch where he was going, but in a joking manner, more to get his attention. Well, he turned around and flipped me off. And to get the attention of everyone else to see that one of the popular boys had noticed me, I shouted, Hey, Mike fingered me! <laughs> Bro, everyone and their mom stopped and turned to look at me and laugh. Mike looked upset and ran off. One of my friends pulled me to the side and told me what fingering meant and I ran to the bathroom and refused to come out. I was then dubbed Finger Girl for the next few weeks, until someone got beat up and that was more interesting. When I was about 14, a large male ostrich outrageously flirted with me, doing a full mating dance, leaning back, crouching and flailing his wings. My friends and family friends witnessed the maniacal monochromatic motherfucker and nearly died from laughing so hard. I was mortified. Fortunately, I never saw him again. I burned my house down to a crisp when I was four. The news channel attempted to interview me, a four-year-old, and all I kept saying was, I like fire. My brother had to pull me away from that situation. What embarrassing moment from your childhood would you be famous for? Let me know in the comments. Probably the most embarrassing thing in my childhood was waiting at the school bus stop when someone shouted, Hey Emma, check your skirt. It was tucked up in the back of my tights. Pantyhose for you Americans. And everyone turned to look. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who got their tongue stuck to a door? It was... A kid. My first job working at a Panera Bread was 15. One night after I was done working, out of sheer curiosity and blunt stupidity, I decided to stick my tongue on the freezer door to see if it would stick. Lo and behold, I couldn't get it off a second later. I got it off five minutes later without anyone seeing. That was the biggest flirt with danger I had while working there. And probably what you would have been famous for if social media had been around at the time. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss anything from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.